money matters, and soon you could have a new place to spend it to see your favorite band. 10 News consumer reporter John Horn looks into how Del Mar is trying to become a destination spot for concerts. The fairgrounds wants people to come back to Surfside Race Place, not to bet on horses, but for a concert calendar as full as this one from the nearby Belly Up. It's always fun to go to a good tribute band, as funny as that may sound. And Luke Holler usually sees those tribute bands at the Belly Up in Solana Beach. There's one called Tainted Love, and then, uh, shoot, we just saw one called Wayward Sons, and they crushed it. He lives in Encinitas, so going to the famous but smaller Belly Up is convenient. All the others Holler goes to in North Park or downtown. Yeah, pretty far. Um, especially like when there's such a need for a place up here. Enter the Del Mar Fairgrounds, dealing with years of declining attendance and revenue at Surfside Race Place, its off-track betting center. It wants to turn part of the facility into a 2,000-seat concert venue with 90 shows a year. And not only could you probably get bigger talent to come into town, but you know there's a need for it you know, amongst the residents in North County. And that's more chances for bands to crush it right in Holler's backyard. I'm 10 News consumer reporter John Horn, and your money matters. Now, the venue could cost $19 million. A fairground spokeswoman says that money from prior events like the fair and races would cover the cost. The Del Mar City Council will be talking about potential concerns on Monday, including extra noise and traffic.